There's the funky music. It is time yet again for this week's Confidence Picks here on the channel. I'm Steve Dace. He's Aaron McIntyre, and we are heading into week five. Aaron, give us the update. Where do things stand? All right. So this week, Steve... You missed two picks. I missed one pick. We both got our bonus bet right, and I gained one point on you. Here's how things ended up. Like I said, you missed two. You missed Minnesota over Northwestern, as did I. But you had that in your five-point slot. I had that in my six-point slot. You also missed Notre Dame over Ohio State. But you did get Notre Dame plus three and a half against Ohio State, which means uh, I think you got 45 points, and I got 46 points. Uh, which brings the total now to 309 uh, to 307. You're still leading me by two points going into week five now. We add all this extra variation, man, and, and it's we're still, still separated by only two bo- points. Two yes. polar bears fighting over the same piece of ice. <laughs> uh, here are your, your picks, Steve. All right, let's get it going. We begin. I'm taking, because I may never get to do this again in my life, Rutgers is going to be my highest rated team on the board this week because they're playing Wagner, not the composer. All right, uh, the uh, low-level I'm, FCS team. I am, I am, moderately uh, impressed. Not surprised. That sounds condescending. I'm impressed. You know, Wagner was a composer. I did. I, I, you know me. I'm a fountain, fountain of useless information, brother. <laughs> uh, six points. I'm going to take Penn State over Northwestern, which I believe is the, is actually the biggest uh, FBS spread in our league this week. Michigan over Nebraska for five points. Louisiana. Over Min- That should be See, Minnesota again. over Louisiana. That's a typo. My bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take Minnesota over Louisiana. This is not the Billy Napier Minnesota of before, or Louisiana of before. Uh, I think Minnesota will come back and win that game. In fact, I think they'll win it comfortably. Uh, I'm going to have Maryland over Indiana for my three-point game. I'm going to take Iowa over Michigan State, and the somebody has to win two teams coming off a cratering performance. And I'm going to take Illinois over Purdue. My, my hedge with only one point is Purdue has either been even or won the stats in every game this year. They just cannot stop turning it over. But that's that's the same thing with Illinois. They can't either. You know, the, the, Now, they didn't turn it over last week, but, man, they were still lucky to beat Florida Atlantic with a backup quarterback. And for my bonus pick, I, I told you I, didn't like, I don't like any of these picks. I don't like any of the sides, any of the totals, in any of the Big Ten games. I don't. I guess... I'll take Michigan State plus 12 and a half because I am not sure if Iowa will score 13 points. Like I could see this being 14 to three Iowa and that's a cover. Yep. You know, and and so because I have to make a pick and it's got to be in our league, I'll take Sparty plus the points against Iowa. That's just a lot of points for a team with a struggling offense to to lay in a Big Ten game, even against a team like Michigan State who... Gained a lot of yards last week, just kept turning the ball over to Maryland five times, actually. All right, my pick. I, too, have Rutgers over Wagner at the seven spot, Penn State over Northwestern at six. I've got Maryland. I'm more confident in Maryland uh, by a couple of slots than uh, than you are Maryland over Indiana. I mean, this is an Indiana team, as we talked about yesterday on Bigger Ten. What if Tom Allen starts snapping his fingers very funky style? Oh, boy, yeah. That could hype the team up. uh, That's the silver bullet right there. Do you factor like a a point and a half or two points into that in your your power rating? That's got to be at least a point and a half, something like that. Yeah. Uh, I've got Illinois over Purdue at four, so I'm three points more uh, confident in Illinois being able to uh, take on Purdue. I think Purdue is actually a favorite, a one-point favorite in that game. I've got three uh, Michigan over Nebraska. The only reason I've got them down here is, again, who knows um, what Nebraska, what, what kind of Nebraska team we'll see. You know, it, it could be that they put things together. Even last week, it was a really slow start for Nebraska. But um, we'll, we'll see. This is going to be Michigan's probably. Would you say it's their biggest test yet? Even bigger than Rutgers? Sure, because it's their first road game. Yeah, yeah. and first road game. Yep. Uh, number two, I've got Iowa over Michigan State. Uh, not super confident in that, though. Even though this line was steamed up. I, I'm sure there's some sort of trend at, out there you know, about Iowa. You know, getting rolled on the road, coming back home. And I'm sure, that, I mean, that that line got bet up by almost a touchdown, Steve, mm-hmm. from its opening line. And then number one, again, I do these before I even see your picks. And so when I saw you um, had Louisiana over Minnesota, which is uh, apparently a typo, I was like, wow, we kind of see this the same way. But I don't know what's going on with Minnesota right now. How you give up 
that big of a lead to Northwestern. And yeah, they that that quarterback made some really good throws, but it's still Northwestern. Their program is is should be cratering right now, and they're not. I don't know what the psyche is. And then you add on to that, and I didn't even know this when I made these picks. Uh, PJ Fleck basically throwing his team under the bus by saying we don't have enough NIL money. Man, that's a little odd. And yeah, I get Billy Napier's gone from uh, Louisiana Lafayette. Still a decent program. I don't know. I just don't like this. I don't like this uh, Minnesota team right now. So I've still got them winning, but they're my least confident play. And then I, too, didn't like any of the sides or totals. So I went for the one that just looked the weirdest, that stuck out like a sore thumb. And I think that total for Illinois-Purdue of 53 and a half, I would have expected it to be it more like 45. Like, yeah. So I'm going over 53 and a half, Illinois and Purdue, even though I hate it with all my being. I thought that would be like a 44, 45, um, you know, point total there, but all the way up to 53, I'm taking the over there. Yeah. Crimson, green. Crimson, oh, goodness. Crimson, green. Crimson, green. Crimson. Oh. <laughs> That is one of the whitest things I've ever seen. Like in my, I was, if I'm like, man. Even a Todd Licklider Iowa basketball team, the, even you, whiter than that. It is, it, it's, it's that white. It was that white. Seriously, like. Translucence. <laughs> if they had busted into the uh, uh, Andy Griffith show right after oh, that, man. would have been a perfect segue. Yeah, perfect. The All whistling. Right. All right, we're, we're done. We're done here. Uh, we'll be back again next week right here on the channel. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the game. See you then.